In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with HTML tables. Tables are very useful for showing a lot of information in a tabular format. You can create a lot of sophisticated tables in HTML. We're going to keep it simple and just create this simple table that's being shown right here. So let's start by navigating to the directory where we're doing all our work. If you remember, we had created a directory called Internet where we're putting all our files and directories that represent our website. Now all these files are local to our machine so only we can see them and, and not until we upload them to a web server can people actually see them. So here's our working directory. We're going we're gonna to create a brand new folder where we're going to put all our work for HTML tables. Let's call this the tables folder. Let's go into that directory and let's create a brand new file call it uh, tables.html. You can also create new files and folders by clicking the right mouse button. Okay, so here we go. Here we have tables.html. Uh, let's accept the change in extension. Now let's edit the file with our favorite uh, text editor. I prefer to use uh, Scity or Scintilla. You can use Notepad or WordPad. Let's expand this window. I, I like this text editor because it allows me to increase the font really big so that you guys can follow along and see what I'm doing. So what I'm doing here, I'm creating the first row of the table, which is the uh, which contains the headers of, of the columns of the table. And then I'm filling out each one of the columns with uh, some names. Notice that I'm using tabs and uh, spaces to format this to look like it was a table. But computers are not yet smart enough to be able to just read this and look at this and, and identify this as a table and that it should be formatted uh, as such. So we're going to have to come back and add some uh, HTML tags to explicitly tell the browser that these are indeed uh, table, rows, and data. So at this point I have entered uh, the, uh, two columns, the first, first name, last name, and right now I'm entering the grades for each one of my students. All right, there we go. Uh, we have the table all done. We're going to save this. And once we save it, we can go and try and browse it to see what it looks like in our browser. So let's go to the directory or folder where we created the file. We, let's double click it. It's going to open up with the default browser. So when it opens up, notice that uh, it doesn't look like a table at all. It just looks like one long string of characters followed, uh, delimited by white spaces. Let me zoom in so you can see better. It does contain the same data that uh, is, is in the file, but it has completely lost the formatting of columns, rows, headings. So we're going to have to come back here and add some explicit tags and tell the, the browser that we want this to look like a, like a table. So let's look, use the uh, HTML tag called table, uh, declaring that indeed the data that, that follows that is in between these two tags uh, is an HTML table. So uh, let's, uh, let's save that. And we have to be very explicit. Now we have to declare that each one of these are rows. And we do that using the tr tag. So we're going to wrap each one of our rows with a tr tag, with an opening tr tag and with a closing tr tag sure that you have an, a closing TR tag for every opening TR tag. If for some reason this doesn't look like a table, we always have to check and make sure that for every opening TR tag we have a closing TR tag. Okay, so we have uh, two more rows to do. Alright, there we go. We're all done with the uh, table rows. Let's add some uh, white spaces, some uh, uh, lines in between so that it makes it easier to identify where each row starts and where which one ends. So just like a table is made up of a whole bunch of table rows, uh, each table row is made up of a whole bunch of uh, table columns. But we're not going to call them table columns, we, we're going to call them as a table data, the actual data that's going to be displayed for each one of the columns. So to do that we're going to use the TD tag. So we're going to wrap each one of our cells in the table uh, uh, with uh, using the, the TD opening TD tag and a closing TD tag. And we're going to do this for each one of the table rows. These are going to be drawn by the browser as, as columns side by side. But here in the HTML document, it's easier to work with each one of these columns if they are in separate rows. It's easier to copy and paste uh, several TD tags uh, to wrap the content uh, if they are in separate rows. So let's go ahead and for each one of these rows, each, each one of these columns, uh, let's uh, put them so that they're on, all in separate uh, lines. And then let's uh, wrap each one of the columns with an opening TD and a closing TD. I, I copy and paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. You can use Control-C to copy, Control-V to paste. 
Also control S to save. Sometimes you won't see me do uh, something uh, going to the menu. Uh, it's because I am pressing either the, the right button in the mouse or I'm doing uh, some uh, keyboard shortcut using control S, control V, control C. Also alt tab to change between applications to jump quickly between the text editor and the browser. So remember control C to copy, control V to paste, control S to save, alt tab to change between uh, applications real quick. And also make sure that you save often, that uh, you don't you don't lose any of your changes, any of your updates. So let's uh, let's go back to the browser and refresh. There we go. Here's now it looks much better. It looks more like a table. We have rows, we have columns. We can zoom in the content of a browser by pressing Control Plus and zoom out by by pressing Control Minus. So you can see the font bigger or smaller. So there we go. So here are all the rows of the table. So uh, let's go back to our original document and uh, let's do some more formatting. Uh, for instance, uh, let's uh, add some borders uh, in our table so that we can see the, 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 the rows and the, and the columns better defined. So let's uh, use the attribute border uh, equal 1, meaning the size of the border that we want. Uh, we save. Let's go back here and we can refresh or we can refresh by clicking here or we can press F5 to refresh. So there we go. We see the borders that define the, 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 the rows and the columns of the table. All right, let's go back to our document. Let's do yet some more formatting. So this first row here is a special row. It should be uh, somewhat different than the other ones. It's uh, really where the headers are. So instead of using the TD for table data, we're going to use TH instead and define this to be formatted as table headers. Uh, what will this do is that it will make these, these uh, to show more um, bold, darker, and, and also centered. So let's uh, refresh. There we go. See first, last, and great. Uh, in the headings, they, they are center and they're bold. All right, let's see. Let's go back to a document. Let's do add some more formatting. Notice that this uh, value of the percentage, uh, really what we want to, be, to do, we want it to be justified to the right. Uh, so what we're going to use is we're going to tell each one of the table data that use the attribute align. This is a horizontal alignment that we wanted to align to the right. Let's save. Let's go back, refresh. There we go. See, the 97 has uh, aligned to the to the right hand side. So let's go back here. Let's do the same thing for each one of the table data uh, where we have the percentages. All right. So we select and then we Control C to copy and then Control V to paste real quick. Control C, Control V, and then we can we say Control S to save. And here we're going to refresh or press F5. There we go. See, all the grays have justified to the right. Now we're going to add an additional row at the end where we're going to put the average total of the class. So, uh, we're going to erase one of the columns because this one only has two columns. The first column is going to have the title uh, average, and then the second column is going to have the actual value. And the average of these four students is 90%. Let's uh, save this and see what it looks like. Let's reload the page or press F5 and let's see. Okay, see that we're, it, it, the two columns appear in the wrong uh, column. We want uh, the average title to span these two columns and then the third column uh, for the 90% uh, move over to the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this attribute column span equal 2, meaning that uh, this particular column is going to span 2. There it is. Now, now average is spanning the first and second column. And the third column, ninety percent, appears uh, alongside with the with the other uh, with the other values. We can add additional attributes uh, to com continue formatting this. We're going to have the other the align attribute here as well to center the average uh, so that it looks nicely centered in its uh, in its row. Let's see. Let's save F5 for refresh. There it is. Average is now centered. Perfect.